Mm. Right, let's now take a look at the stories making headlines around the world. Good to see you, Trix. How are you? Bon, Good. I'm fine, thank you. So we're going to start off today with Al Jazeera. Yeah. That's focusing on Aleppo. And they're saying that things have gone from bad to worse. Oh, no. And of course, we always have these days, uh, children seems to seem to be the poster uh, or, or representation of the horrors of Aleppo. Uh -huh. So they're saying fear has grown in East Aleppo as government forces are close in. Of course, they're saying it is only a matter of time before they defeat the insurgents in that yeah. part of the world. Yeah. But of course, the casualties are just growing. Yeah. Uh, according to the UN, there's almost 100,000 children yeah. stuck in that part of the world. So, of course, it's not really good for them, but the war keeps going on. And they're not letting up. There mm. was, was um, a bit of uh, expectation that it was going to be another ceasefire yeah. that to be planned, but it was cancelled. So right. things are going to be this way for a while. Mm. Then the, there's more stories on an earthquake that has sent a minor earthquakes to Japan. So no deaths have been reported, but uh, there have been minor tsunamis. Remember yeah. the last talk of uh, the last yeah. time Japan was hit by a major tsunami, it was, mm -hmm. it was not good, mm. but at least this time no casualties, right. no deaths. And the fear of course of the nuclear yes, plant exactly, around Exactly, yeah. yeah. Yes. So if there's any leakage yeah. that would be horrible. Yeah, and so they're still just trying to recover from the last the one. The last one, yeah. see, so it's, it's, it's a huge scare to have anything of the sort happening yeah. at this time. Yeah. Then we have the uh, the, the CNN website Trump, uh, US will quit the mm. Trans-Pacific Trade Deal, mm. so he seems to be uh, sticking Keeping to his promise. Yeah, his promise. Yeah. He didn't mention in his uh, uh, promise of what his promises of what he's going to do in the one, first 100 days. He didn't speak about the immigration issues yeah. or the the wall that Mexico is apparently supposed to pay for. <laughs> yes. But he did talk about trade. He said he's going to. Um, negotiate a fair bilateral trade yeah. between uh, the U.S. and other nations, right. but he's going to scrap this trans-Pacific yeah. trade. This has been a big one, I you know, know globalization, yeah. but exactly. then hurting the people yes. in America and them feeling yeah. the pinch. Yeah, so, so he says yeah. it's a potential disaster, but yeah. analysts or critics are saying that these are the type of things that you can just deal with as president. But when it comes to the other more controversial promises mm. that he made earlier, like immigration yeah. and deportation of, yeah. of people from Muslim, uh, some Muslim yeah, countries. Yeah, the Muslim ban, the yes. Muslim registry yeah, yeah. that he and was not, talking about. Yeah, yeah. Th they're not things that are really easy. So yeah. those will take time and the approval of Congress and things yeah. like that. So and at least on a light note, he's not talking about locking up Hillary anymore. <laughs> I know. <laughs> as yeah. part of his exactly. campaign exactly. pledges. Exactly. Yeah. So Horrid. that's, a, that's a, I think, yeah. a good thing. And I think this is a good article because it mm -hmm. talks about exactly what the TP is because I mean yeah. there's been a lot of talk about it so if yes. you want to know what you know exactly what is this, this deal is and why are some Americans not, not happy, happy with, with it, it. Yeah. yeah and of course other countries mm. you know as well then yes. there's Africa uh, the African news it's mm -hmm. talking about uh, some uh, slave anti-slave activists that have been released they were part of a riot that went uh, became chaotic and they were put in jail but I think Mauritania is now taking a look at its uh, fight against slavery mm -hmm. we know slavery is still a reality even to date yeah. but just you know in yeah. the black market and behind mm -hmm. closed doors. So they have been released from prison. They're going to be actually, now Mauritania is, is flipping the script and working towards uh, dealing with slavery uh -huh. and things like that. Let's right. scroll down and see what yeah. other stories are on that page. Yeah. We have more news from across Africa. Um, yeah. Can we scroll if we down? Can the scroll page down and on this one? Yeah. Going on? All right. yeah. So there's something more on oil prices mm -hmm. up amid hopes of, of OPEC deal to mm. cut outputs. And of course, this is good news for countries such as um, Nigeria. Yeah. <laughs> that his, the, yeah. whose economy has just slumped yeah. thanks Largely to dependent yeah, on oil, oil prices. Oil prices. Yeah. So if they go up, I think the country's economy will be revived yeah. and the Buhari will be left off the right. hook because he has been under a lot of criticism yeah. in, the, in, 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 in recent times. Mm -hmm. uh, but so, um, but it, indeed, it just points to the fact that some African countries need to diversify mm. their revenue. Yeah. Yeah. Where yeah, this is a real conversation. Yeah. Uh, it's it's yeah. a wake-up call for Nigeria and other countries, oil-producing countries. Yeah. Then we're having The Guardian that's focusing on this bromance between Nigel Farage and uh, Donald Trump. He has actually said that he feels that it is uh, prudent that uh, Britain appoints Nigel oh, I like that. as the ambassador. President-elect <laughs> Donald Trump is telling the yeah, UK what to do to and do, who exactly, to appoint. Exactly, yeah. yeah Putin, that's uh, perfect. I'm sure <laughs> Theresa May in a very precarious position yeah. because this is an opposition politician. Exactly, not, yeah. Britain in has, UKIP, yeah. Yeah, has been 
vocal saying this is not a representative of the government. So neither. Yeah, I know, but it's interesting. I mean, <laughs> yeah. but anyway, I'm sure it's on a light note. But exactly, surely Trump yeah. should worry about what he's going to do in his first 100 yeah, exactly, days, as opposed yeah, not to what, uh, uh, who will be yeah. uh, ambassador he of the UK to the US. He seems to think US. that he'll do a good job. Well, of course he would. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then we have yeah, Quartz uh, Africa. Uh, Quartz Africa. Great That's, site. I yeah, love this. Exactly. Yeah. Africa's yeah. largest economy is nowhere close to getting out of its recession. Mm. This is Nigeria. Yeah. It's taking a look at the, the economic slump following the drop in oil prices right. and of course what to be expected. Actually, Buhari has launched a, a program that expected, is expected to help uh, give 500,000 graduates jobs because okay. are, there's a lot of unemployment in yeah. Nigeria, but still it's largely dependent on the oil prices yeah. and how they do in the market. And of course, there have been there were predictions on the other side that the prices are going to go up. So hopefully this is going to change things for uh, mm. Nigeria, but still according to this article, the yeah. economy is nowhere close to getting out yeah. of its recession. So, so which some, is the, some tough days ahead. Yeah, tough yeah. days ahead. Okay. Then they're having the US to quit the TPP trade yeah. deal, says This Trump is going to be a big one, yeah. It's going to be a big yeah. one, and uh, uh, of course it's going to be interesting to see how he's going to carry this out mm -hmm. in the next few days and mm -hmm. the repercussions yeah. that it's going to have. Are things going to be better for America? Or and, uh, not. I or mean, but, not. But take yeah. a look at this. It's, it's um, a return to nationalization, isn't it? Yes. Brexit and then, it's all uh, about, you know, Trump going in and then the TPP. It looks yes. like countries are now starting to look more inward. Yes. And, and that and, globalization and, and regionalization it, isn't exactly it, the solution that yes, we thought exactly, it was. exactly, yeah. Okay. And uh, I think it's all about the sovereignty can, of... Can we talk about this <laughs> one for just a moment? <laughs> then we're having... Is Kanye this true? I saw this on some other side. Now that I'm seeing it here on the yeah, BBC. Probably, yeah, probably... Um, I had it actually... Yeah, no, you know he had that tirade again uh -huh. at one of his performances. Yeah. Of course, he lashed out at Beyonce and Jay-Z, who are again? former BFFs. Again? Oh, my goodness. Um, but, yes... <laughs> <laughs> yes, so yes. apparently, yeah, he's uh, hospitalized. hospitalized. I hope he's not having, um, yeah. uh, you know, a mental breakdown exactly. or whatever. Exactly, they're saying that they're calling yeah. it a disturbance call. Yes. So probably he had a breakdown of some sort. Yeah. I think uh, if it this has made really it to the sad. BBC, I mean, if you listened to College Dropout, exactly. that album was amazing. Wow. So, <laughs> but then he's just gone on this slide, in but my opinion. But there's this anyway. thing about geniuses. They say there's always a little bit yeah, of a problem well, somewhere, yeah, yeah. and yes. sometimes they don't end up Thank you well. for us average folks. <laughs> yeah. So let's right, take a look okay. at the last one. This yeah. is the New York Times. Yeah. It's focusing on YouTube Trump outlines initial, uh, on YouTube yeah. Trump outlines initial goals for his presidency. Right. The same uh, issue on the trade deal. Mm -hmm. There's something on uh, the Myanmar's war mm. on the Rohingya tribe. Mm. These people have been reportedly oppressed for yeah. a really long time. Yeah. Some of them are actually running away from their, their, what they have been calling their home for a long time. So right. It's not a nice time or a good time to be a Muslim Rohingya in that in uh, Myanmar. In, yeah. in Myanmar. Yeah. So that's the New York Times for you. Mm. All right, thank you, Trick Singado, as always, mm -hmm. um, telling us what is happening around the world. It's